today I'm going to change out this old Goodman. No heat pump. CPE 42-1F from 93. Big old Bristol compressor. It's reversing valve. Dual run contactor defrost controller. Um, this particular job will not be trained. This is going to be an Amana. My first Amana since probably 2008. Uh, went ahead and signed up as an Amana dealer. I was already selling a little bit of Goodman, as you all know. It was just a smart move for me to sign up as a dealer because as a dealer, I get better pricing on Goodman and also get better price on my parts, like, you know, for my truck stock, which is where I buy all my truck stock stuff is at the Goodman store anyway, so... It was a no-brainer, plus uh, my trained sales rep uh, kind of upset me a little bit, but that's a story for another day. So, and I'm not canceling my train dealership, I'm not going to, I'm going to go ahead and keep it around just in case, but for the most part, probably be selling mostly a mana, and, uh, but that's just how things go, plus uh it was beginning to be a pain having to order my stuff from out of town and with uh, Goodman and Amanda it's right here in town it's a one stop shop for parts and equipment so it was a no brainer so uh but I'll keep y'all along with me today on this change out alright right now I'm running a line set have to run a new line set on this job because it's a three and a half ton heat pump and it requires a seven eight suction line and uh, it was only running three quarter, which is what was in the wall. And there's the new Amana. So we're, uh, I'm in the process of running this line set here. And um, I'll get the unit piped up and and then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, just goes to show, we're not all perfect. When I went to bend that suction line to come down the wall, that's what I did. Not good. Not good at all. And I'm usually pretty good about not doing that, but that's why you always check. So, I don't have to braise a 90 on there. All right, I got the Amana all piped up. I'm getting ready to braise. Got the speedy channel up. Looks real nice. 13 Sierra Mana for, uh, shoot, uh, 13 Sierra Mana, uh, three and a half ton heat pump. Got a brand new line set ran because the old one was, wasn't precisely corrupt. Oh, Lord, I can't talk today. Wasn't sized correctly. So, uh, I'm going to braise, put it in a vacuum, and I got to do a new whip. Okay, let's look over some of the components in the Amana, even though it's Zach did it the other day and I'm kind of just copycatting him, but um, you got your comfort alert diagnosis here. Uh, something that Goodman doesn't have. Really nice set of contactors. I like the contactors that they use on these units. And it's got a little different defrost board from the Goodman. But uh, other than that, everything else is pretty Goodman, you know. This is a different color and it looks different. And then you got the hard top up here. It's got the compressor blanket, just like Zach explained the other day. But the point of the video is, like Zach said too, this Amanda unit has all the bells and whistles that a train or an American Standard or a carrier or any of your higher price systems would have at a much better price. So there's nothing wrong with Amana. And yes, people, oh, I know that Amana is made by Goodman, but it does have a few more bells and whistles than a Goodman does. And it's got all the bells and whistles of a higher priced unit at a much better price. All right, man is in the man is in the vacuum. Kind of, it's backwards, but we're at 146 microns. And Zach, this is what I was telling you, man. I don't know what happened with my pump, but this fitting here is three eighths, 
but this one is half inch. I can't hook my hoses here and here like you can. I can hook one here, but not here. I still got to use my T. But I got my micron gauge hooked up right here. But yeah, this is half. This is three eighths. I don't know, man. I guess I didn't get as lucky as you on my pump. But uh, it's calibrating, but it was at 146. So really happy with the way this job came out. Really happy to be uh, installing a man again. I enjoyed them in the past when I had them, except for the leaking evaporators. But I always enjoyed the condensers. And now that Goodman and Amana have solved their leaking issues with the evaporators, I'm, uh, I'm happy to be installing them again. Nice unit, and I look forward to seeing it start up for the first time. All right, the Amana's up and running. I gotta tell you, I sure forgot how quiet they were. Man, these things are quiet. I don't think there's another unit out there that's as quiet as this one, to be honest with you. Them 16 eyes I put in on that one video that I put up on here that y'all saw. Them 16 eye trains weren't even as quiet as this, and this is just the 13 sear. I mean, you can't hear this thing run. I mean, th th this thing is ridiculously quiet. I'd say this is the quietest unit on the market. The Amana brand, not the Goodman. But when you step up to the Amana and get the blanket and all that other, and the slower fan motor, you know, the lower RPM fan motor, I don't think there's another unit that's as quiet as this one. I'm going to let it run here. we got a pretty long line set, so this ain't been running but about three or four minutes, maybe five. But I'm going to let it run about 10, 15 more minutes, and I'm going to do a wet bulb and dry bulb and see what my target superheat is because this is a piston because it's 13 sear. Anything above 13, you got to move to an expansion valve with a mana and Goodman. So uh, I'm going to let it run a few minutes. All right, the Amana's running in heating mode. You see the pressure difference there? I'm about to go turn it off. Well, it just went off. I'm going to go run the heat strips. And that ought to be about the end of this one. Bonus footage guys, I came over here to this house to help my dad change a water heater uh, after I got done with that Amanda install that y'all just saw and you hear them dogs barking up there, well we got two carriers sitting right here, look what these dogs have done to these carriers, look at there, y'all see what that is, that's nothing but dog piss, them dogs been pissing all over this unit and this one. I just picked me up a new customer too and I see a change out in the future, the very near future.